Honor Club, where honor is real. And we started right here. That was where we walked out. That's kind of the curtain. You know, we'd hit the tape recorder, our music would play. We'd walk out in the locker room there. And then right here, we had the trampoline. You know, we had it up against the shed in case you had to come off the top rope, which was the shed, obviously. And uh, yeah, I mean, we spent pretty much all night, every night after school, just right here, just going at it. Well, one time we were having a match and right there, that's the kitchen window right there. And I threw a chair at Mark. He caught the chair, then I kicked it into his face and just shattered his nose. Shattered my nose. I mean, blood everywhere. And so his nose was broken. And I remember dad walking by the kitchen window and seeing what had happened. And he opens the window up and he starts yelling at us. He, he says, Mark, now you break his nose. <laughs> and and uh, you know, there's a, there a few times dad would kind of holler at us. Look what's still here. There's, one, there's some of our old, this was stapled to a board. We had a barbed wire board. The board itself has uh, since disintegrated, but the barbed wire is still here. How could have sworn I seen it too? Yeah, wonder if mom moved it to the kids. This is my weapon of choice right here. Right there. Got it for free at a Del Mar for Shorebirds game. It was a free bat giveaway night. <laughs> I used to whoop Mark's ass with this thing. There it is. That's my weapon. That's what I came out to the ring with. There used to be an old barn over here that burnt up, actually burnt up in a fire right there. But uh, that was a big one. You know, the, the match was spilled to the outside. We just brawl over, brawl all over the place, man. And um, yeah, so. See, the matches were this whole property. Oh, yeah. Nothing was off limits. Nothing was off limits. There to go. So, yep. So, these chickens are about two days old right now. And the hardest part, we gotta make sure we get all the dead out of here every day. So, you gotta walk through, you gotta pick the dead up. And there's a pattern that you're supposed to go. It's really a two-man job. Most times it's me and Mark growing up, especially every day, me and Mark picking up dead chickens. You know, you, you make it in quarters. You break it off into four sections of the chicken house. You start at the back, he go this way, I go this way. Boom, meet in the middle, boom. We throw everything toward the middle. Then we keep throwing, throwing it all to the doors. Throwing all the dead chickens to the doors. So it's teamwork. And if one person slacking, it messed up the whole team. Mess up your whole day. You can be in a damn chicken house all day long picking up chickens if somebody ain't doing the job right. Well, I mean, I think it's all teamwork. You got to, you know, you you hold your partner accountable to hold up his end of the of the job. And and just like, you know, just like in wrestling. I got to be able to count on it. Well, I mean, we've been fighting each other since we were knee high to a piss ant. I jumped off every roof we had, put this man through tables, but he uh, he and kept on coming back. Oh, I, yeah. It was a fight all day long. He could jump off whatever he wanted. I was still going to bust his head. That's what I always did. That's what I'm always going to do. He, I'm, a, I'm he, older. He's older, not quite a year. I'm a year older and a year more handsome. That don't mean nothing but Cypher, he going he gonna to be dead before me. That's the way I look at it. I figure he'd probably be dead at least a year before me. <laughs> <laughs> He's 11 months older than me. Yeah, 11 months and three weeks. There's, months. A, there's a week every year that we're the same age. But the first time we tried moves on each other, actual wrestling moves on each other was, I'd say that was before I could remember. I mean, it had to be, uh, I bet we were probably still in diapers. Yeah, I, I remember, I mean, the first time we actual, actually had matches, so-called matches, was on the trampoline. We were probably 10 and 11 at the time, I'd say. But we had been fighting long before that. Yeah, yeah. That's we when we boxing, started fighting pro wrestling. Kickboxing, karate. 
all that, jujitsu, ninjitsu, and then we had the trampoline, that's when pro wrestling started. Tonight, I'm gonna prove that the Briscoe name is the best in the business, whether it be a singles or a tag team. I gotta be honest with you, the first Ring of Honor show ever, Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, I'm 17 years old. Now, I wasn't allowed to wrestle at the time. You got, had to be commission. 18. Yeah, the commission, they shut me down. Frank Talent, rest in peace. I couldn't wrestle 17 years old, but Jay, my big brother, he's representing the family. 18 years old, Jay Briscoe versus the Amazing Red. First match in Ring of Honor history. I'm hyped. I'm ready to watch this man make us proud, make everybody proud. And what does he do? Loses. Loses, makes us all look stupid. When he went down in defeat, in a miserable defeat, I felt deflated. Hey, you ain't never beat Amazing Red either. I felt Amazing Red is tough, man. I felt deflated like a balloon. He was legally allowed to wrestle in Boston. Jay has said, enough is enough. Let's settle it here tonight in Beantown. Let's get it on one on one, mano y mano, brother to brother, and what a way to start the match. That was his first match ever in Ring of Honor was me versus him. One on one, Mark, Mark Briscoe versus Jay Briscoe. That was the only time he's and ever beat me. Let me tell life. you what I did. Mm. Don't tell lies in front of this camera. Don't sit there and tell lies in front of this camera. Let me tell you what I did. Before I beat him, pinned him one, two, three, shoulders to the mat, I knocked him silly. We got back to the locker room and he didn't even know we just wrestled. He didn't know we was in Boston. He didn't know what was going on. It was an illegal move. The referee ain't see that. Amen. He should have been disqualified. It, the second time we wrestled. That was, was a one year anniversary. Was New York City. Queens. I, I whooped his ass. Third match, Liverpool, England. We both just beat the hell out of each other till I can't even remember how that. Neither one of us can make the 10 count. Briscoe versus Briscoe, brother against brother. I'm pretty sure that was in Philly. I think I got that one. Are you sure about I that? I picked up the victory. Ah. I think I was victorious. I think my hand was raised. Oh, man. I'm pretty sure. You talking about one of the greatest tag teams of all time, and I'm saying that with no ego. 11 time tag team champions, baby. 11 times. Hey, but how about as far as singles championship to go, Chick? Man, why you got to bring that how up? How many man? you got? I just wonder how many you got. Because I know how many I got. Yeah, you know how many I two. got, too. I got two. Well, congratulations. And world, baby. I ain't world. Congra champion. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. I don't care no, about no single belt. I'm telling you, no, you ain't. I'm about whooping your ass. I'd take your belt off your pants and whoop your ass with it. 